ignore David. I said ignore David. Ignore David. All right, everybody, ignore David. No, no. All right. All of this, all of us are gathered here today to acknowledge your one year achievement of sobriety and being here in Charlotte with us. Congratulations! We are proud of you. All right. Okay. So, um, yeah, I told you that David and Jennifer and Mom and Dad were coming over, but that was just a, a little ruse. We're all here to support you. We got some food for you, and we want to show you our own symbols of love, okay? So the first one, if you get in the middle, please. Um, So, the first thing I want to say is that you came to Charlotte. Never in a million years would I block, think that you were coming to Charlotte to live here. And we had that conversation. I had to walk away from it because, anyway, we'll, we'll go in more detail, but just because everybody has uh, things they want to say. But you absolutely took a chance on yourself to give yourself a second chance, okay? You let go of any um, negative thoughts or any doubts, okay? And you absolutely walked on into the new journey. Let go, let go. All right. Let's go as you feel. Let's go. So my word is love, E, and we all love you. You are family now, and I just pray that your heart just gets the most love that it can hold and that God continues to favor you and show you his love every day. Mine is honesty. <laughs> I'm very proud of you and always be honest and true to yourself. And no matter how it comes out, just keep it real. No matter how it comes out. My word is trust. Right. So, one thing about being honest with yourself, you trust yourself because you know who you are before anybody else does. And you have to trust yourself to start on your journey, right? And it was enough trust and love with Melvin and Melissa for you to come into their home, right? By them trusting you, we trusted you, mm -hmm. and we trust that you trust yourself, mm -hmm. right? And we happy for you. Appreciate All right. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, and I, I got the word focus. And uh, focus to me, for you, would mean uh, that you had your eye on the prize and you still got your eye on the prize, so you're going to stay focused and get where you got to go. All right. All right. Uh -huh. All right. Coach. 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 My word is gratitude. Hey. <laughs> and I think the reason why I love you so much is because you're one of those people that can receive and give gratitude in equal ways. Damn, I just love that about you, so never change. Oh, oh. 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 <laughs> look, right here. <laughs> <laughs> is recovery. Ooh. Congratulations on your recovery. Thank you. And know the recovery is lifelong, mm -hmm. not for the moment. Mm -hmm. That's right. Thank you so much. Maya, Morgan, y'all go ahead and go. Oh. oh. So this one is love. Ooh, double up. <laughs> you okay. gonna tell him that you, you pray for him or something? Pray for him. I like when you go to church early in the morning and go to church and pray for the Lord at church. Yes. Oh. All right. You gotta give him your little heart. <laughs> give him your heart. Give him your heart. Hearts of encouragement. <laughs> you don't have Facebook. Really. He should. Your mind is smile. Take that out your mouth. Mine is smile because you always have to smile on your face when you're up in the morning. Oh. All right. Give him your heart. And so, Jen. my word is serenity. And I'm going to read it. Serenity. 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 Ser
gonna read the serenity pen prayer, okay? Oh. It says, Lord, God, give me, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change mm -hmm. and the courage mm -hmm. to change the things <coughs> that I can and the wisdom mm -hmm. to know the difference. Amen. Okay? Right. So I'm gonna go back to that word courage. You know, mm -hmm. my word is serenity. Mm -hmm. You had the courage to make the change mm -hmm. and the wisdom to know when you were able to make the change. She she it. It happen. Mm -hmm. And so now it. I'm I'm just extremely proud of you. Mm -hmm. Um I'm so happy that you came and you're a part of our family now because you've like at, you you've added that uncle um yeah. easy mm -hmm. i'm like like laid back feel to our family i'm just mm -hmm. thankful for you one foot up of course mine's his brother and you already know you're my brother you've been my brother since day one you know, we spoke about this uh, yesterday. Yeah, we, uh, we was bowling and playing pool and all this other stuff. Yeah. And, you know, you know, I look out for you and, yeah. you know, you're my man. So, that's all right. All right. Yeah. 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 Morgan, get back to that. Yeah. What's yours, yeah. mommy? Let go, let go. Well, I'll tell you what. Of course, it's the best part. Caught up God. Caught yeah, up yeah. God. Truly, believe me. <laughs> <laughs> prepared for this. Um, but it means everything to me. Uh, like he would know, more so than anybody else. Uh, I had a real bad uh, alcohol was a dependency that went beyond any uh, any of your man's addictions. I know everybody got stories of clearly. Your dad was really helping in the beginning too. I appreciate him too. Um <clears throat> I, uh, this is shit my Before I got down here, my life was, to say ups and downs of trying to keep it down with like, uh, this thing. Um, losing my grandfather, who was the rock and foundation of my life, my family, was uh, huge. Then my grandma. So my family was just slowly showed me, you know, just deteriorating that he just wasn't strong. You know, like, you know, wasn't really strong. Like, the foundation just went away. Everybody kind of do their own thing. And I kind of gravitated to another side, to the world, basically. I gave away what I knew as foundation, being the spiritual background that I had, and walked over to the other side. Because I felt like I just wanted something to hold on the only thing that was giving me that comfort was the alcohol and the people that I was hanging around. They were like, man, you buggy, man. Come on, we got a ball. You buggy, come on now. You know, what you doing? I know you ain't doing nothing. Come on, get something to drink. Oh, man, you speaking my language. And I was just, and I was taking it as love. But really, it was harm. I didn't understand it because I didn't have that foundation that I was going to. But when I didn't have this in the world, I could come back to my grandfather, the people that I was praying for. So I fast forward to last year this time. A week before, I don't know if you, some of you guys met the guy named Uncle Earl. We call him Uncle Earl's friend. Mm -hmm. I used to, when I was still up there, I was the, would come to call Uncle Earl, money got short or anything, and I just needed, needed, just needed a loan, he'd be there, I'd pay it back. But he would look at me, like, in a way, a disappointment. And I ain't, I only knew this guy, like, maybe a couple of years, but I didn't know him as closely as well, so I just, you know. But he would look at me with disappointment, and I used to be like, right. Look at me so funny. I'm still, hey, hey. And he like, what's up, Bo? All right, yeah, you all right? Every time. Consistent. I'm all right, man. And yeah, I'm tall up, lit. Uh -huh. And he's like, you, you all right? And I'm good. You make the exchange, you give me my money. I'll give it back to you to me. 
go get me a bottle. First thing I do, go get me a bottle. I did not know that he was calling that brother, telling him, hey, look here, your boy, he can't look good. So God being God, you somebody that I wouldn't even imagine. The last person, one of the last people I would imagine, he was you. Use him. That's <laughs> <laughs> not saying he don't know God. That's what he knows. He ain't on first name basis right now. God knows his name, of course. But, you know, but he comes up. I'm telling you, again, man. You need to come with me. Because uh, you ain't looking good. I don't like how you looking. I talked to my wife, girls. You know, get away. I ain't got no job. I just want to be running out. I go there in a couple of days, come on back. It's all good. But literally, in my imagination, I do not think that it was a couple of days will turn into a whole year. But in that whole year, my life is getting better. God reminded me look here, I created you to be special. you were doing up until this point was what I called you to do. Uh, Each and every time that you went out there and you did that life and you was reaching for something that you were looking for that you thought you were getting in that life, that's why you always kept falling short. That's why you always kept needing more. You could never get fulfilled because there was no fulfillment in it. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So when I catch you away, they say in a time of trouble, he will hide you. Uh -huh. And I hide you just, to, just because you, you you're that you're weak or anything like that. But he knows what's best for you. So he brought me to Charlotte away from all of that craziness of it because I needed to be performed. Uh -huh. I needed to be away from the distractions, uh -huh. away from all those things that kept me back. And I thought that would lose my mind that day. The first, <laughs> matter of fact, the first three days, I had just a little bit left. Uh, I I drank a whole heap to six hour trip, right? Y'all think about six hours that kind of trip? Six hours? Mm -hmm. You stop what twice? <coughs> six times I got to come. Mm, you none. none. You ain't got to worry about it. None. <laughs> he stopped, went to the bathroom, he got some meat, asked me, I want some meat. No, I drank a whole half. Mm -hmm. A whole half a gallon. Y'all know that. Oh, half, oh, oh, oh. half a gallon. All of them. When I got to the house, this much left. Two days later, he came, they was in the living room. He didn't have to get this. Called me down the stairs. And he was wondering. They don't never give me no tough love. If you gave me tough love this night, and I know what happened to God, he said, Look here. He looked me in my face. He said, Look here, man. You're my brother. You're like a big brother. I love you, and I don't like what you're doing to yourself. Mm -hmm. If you keep going down this route, the way you're going, you're going to hurt yourself real, you know, to a point where you ain't going to come back. I can't have that. But what I'm not going to do too while you're down here, I'm not going to support what you're doing. So you're not going to get nothing to drink. Me, my wife ain't going to get you nothing to drink. You ain't got no car, so anybody can get somewhere is what we take it. We ain't not going to take it and get you nothing to drink. <laughs> <laughs> so you either going to have to one way or another, you're going to kick this one way or another. Right. I went back in my room. I cussed him out. You know what I mean? <laughs> crazy nothing there. I mean, I've been drinking, but I ain't crazy nothing. I do that in his face or his face. Somebody's looking out for me. But I had the reality check. Mm -hmm. That's what I need to get. And that whole time, like a couple of days after that, we had up in the house. 